today. It's uh, Friday. I see a lot of people in here. Um, Lila said that they're waiting on an ice and snowstorm, so she'll be just listening. Oh no! Yeah, yeah I'm glad uh, it's I'm glad it's you and not me, Lila. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> Atasha's up that way too. I sent her yeah. pictures of the uh, uh, the puppy that she wants, and she said that they're having snowstorms and stuff too. Uh, so. She said, I think, I didn't read the message, I just saw the notification and it said that she had shut off all of her water because she doesn't want more problems with her water <laughs> freezing. Now my chat yeah. moved down here so I can't see who all's in here. Yeah, um, I hate it when it does that when there's an ad up there. So hi Lila, hi uh, Charlene. Let's see. Petrus said there he's going to come back later. Oh, hi Petrus. Er, uh, Jesus Lord, was it Barbara? I'm trying to remember your name. I'm sorry. Uh, sometimes names stick and sometimes they don't. And I feel really bad that we don't, that we can't remember yours because you've been around with us for a long for time. For a long time. Yeah. yeah no kidding. Um, um, Charlene, hello. Kim, hi. Petra said what he, the heck? he just watched the bus video. Oh, sweet. Um, I was actually watching the bus video. <laughs> And it ended right before we had to go live. So, yeah, I, I just watched it myself, guys. Yeah, um, yeah. Hi, hi, Roy. How's it going? Uh, Kim, hello. Cece, H hi. Hunter's a hard worker when he wants to be. <laughs> yeah. I was watching that video, and I was like, dang, Hunter actually looks like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> but, of course, he... He's mostly the one who tore out the floor in their big school bus. Yeah. Michael helped some, Lily helped some, but Hunter did most of it. So. Glenn and Shannon, happy Friday. Howdy, y'all. Um. Hey, Tammy and Ford, Ford dude. dude. Hello. Hey, Tammy. Jody. Hi, Jody. Jean. Jean. Hello. hello. Dot. Hello. Oh, she just said nice bedrooms. Thank you for the bus. Yeah. Hi, Cindy. Um. Haven't watched the bus video. Was watching. Barb works better. This. Okay. Yeah. All right, Barb. Yeah. Barb. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Anyway, um, that looks. We're all caught up there. So. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Um. Uh. So as most of you guys know, because y'all usually watch our Wednesday night live on her channel, also. Yeah. Um, we got our bus home, and uh. We, she got out and got it all cleaned up the other day after our live on Wednesday. And now we're going to, we went and got the stuff to put the new floor down and the carpet down and everything in Lily's bus. So that will be after this live. We'll be going out there and working on that. Mm -hmm. Hang on just a second. Michael, have you taken your medicine? You were supposed to take it again at like two, so two hours ago. You better hurry up and take it before it wears off again. So for those of y'all that don't know, <laughs> Michael had all four of his wisdom teeth pulled yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. So and uh, so yesterday we was trying to figure out what to do for him for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> while we while we was at the uh, um, uh, <laughs> store, I decided that it was a good idea to get some baby food. <laughs> And I guess he's enjoying it because he's been eating it. Um, of course, I think that one's one of the better flavors. Um, I purposely got some that was like... With sweet potatoes. And apple, and sweet potato, and apple, <laughs> spinach, and what was the one? Blueberry and purple carrots that you yeah. got. And yeah. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> just kind of as a joke for him. But, you know, he wound up eating it last night. He said it was pretty good. So... Hi, Wiley from Snowy, Wisconsin. Love the portable bathroom you come up with. Awesome. Nice. Thank you, we're, Thank you Judy. When did we're you, still working on that. Did you post that uh, the, or something? The bedrooms. No, this is bedrooms. Oh, board of a bedrooms. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Uh, we're actually going to be working on it more when this live is over. Yeah. So we yeah, we'll be going working on it spent then. spent a, a bunch of money on the materials that we needed. Well, Judy, it's, if you like the portable bedrooms, wait till you see the portable bathroom and shower set up yeah it's gonna be cool uh mckevin michael's being a trooper he's definitely got a pretty strong constitution because so he I got up this morning started doing went, his chores. went and done his chores went out and fed the animals i don't know i i mean after his meds had worn off hey mike I, how's it going i had told him oh hey mike i had told uh him to wake up at like one o'clock in the morning and take his pain meds again 
And he said, whatever, I'm not going to wake up in the middle of the night. I'll just deal with it. He woke up in a lot of pain this morning. Yeah. <laughs> so. Really. so for you, those of you guys that don't know, and for those of you that have seen the video um, where we delivered the hay out to the Panhandle of Oklahoma last week. Was it last week? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah, um, yes, two weeks. Mike Fernanovich, the one that just come in, uh, him and his son Connor are really... They don't want to admit it, but they are really the two organizers of that. Um, they, yeah. they, they are the. They did a really good. They job. were the go-to guys to ask questions, and they're so, the guys pointing fingers, yeah. telling people where to go. So, so although they don't want to admit it, they was the organizers, and they've done a fantastic job. Uh, we had mm -hmm. a lot of fun going up there, and Jen got some good video. If you haven't seen that video, guys, um, it's, it's a good video. It's a good video, and it's a. Uh, it's got a little bit of a tearjerker if you uh, like to see people helping other people. Yeah, so. yeah. It was it was good. We're really happy to have been part, been able to be part of it. Uh, so the portable kitchen remodel, we're not really going to do a lot to it. Once we move to Arkansas, we'll probably rip that bathroom out and turn it into a pantry. But it's just basically going to be ripping the bathroom out and building shelves, so it's yeah. not going to really be anything special. Not going to be a whole lot, no big deal, really. But yeah. uh, but that's all stuff that we don't have time to do right now before we move. We are just trying to get in a position where we can live comfortably shortly after we get there. Uh, because we are going to be living in our semi-temporary permanent solution for <laughs> a couple of years. <laughs> so... So, Lila said prayers for Tim over Ridge Life. What's, I don't guess I've, um, I don't guess I I've seen what's going I haven't heard any on. other updates, but he hurt his knee. He hit, he broke, he tore his ACL and his MCL, I think. And he was, the day before he was going to have surgery, the doctor called him and told him that his insurance wasn't going to cover it. Oh, no. So, he's having, I'm not exactly sure what is the next step on that. Um, there's two different kinds of, like, where they take your tissue or they take cadaver tissue and they put it in there and they wouldn't they wouldn't cover the one that he was going to have so yeah and he's sick that's what Cindy said oh man we'll definitely be and, saying some prayers for and him. Jin like three hours away yeah <laughs> I remember when you had a job that was far away and I'd drive to go see you yeah 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 and I think Tim and Jin that, that was when you really liked me now I have you home all the time <laughs> He's got COVID. Oh. Oh, man. Man. How many trips is it going to take to get your stuff moved? So, <laughs> we actually just went over this the night before last. And so, if we can get volunteers to help us with our main trip, which is going to be getting our kitchen and buses there, we're hoping to do that all in one trip if we can get some people to help so us. So, we've got, I've got somebody that's going to haul one of the buses. And I've got a tow bar set up for the other bus. And then the other bus is drivable. So I've got to tow one bus. And I've got somebody that's going to haul one bus. I've got to find a driver for the big full-size school bus. And then we've got to find somebody with a pickup that can tow the kitchen trailer. Um, we might be able to tow it with the van, but I really our van's not running that great. And I don't want to blow it up. So. Yeah. I could have tested this lady too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Wiley had a job where he was like two and a half hours away. Man. Mm -hmm. What did he do? <sighs> Can you tell me about it after our live stream? He broke my door out on purpose. Oh, Hunter's a jerk. Go finish cleaning that stuff up so we can work on your bus when we're done here. Now I'm going to break his tab. Like, I mean, okay. literally everything. Now is not the... Hey. <laughs> Thanks for posting that, Cindy. Yeah, please, you guys that haven't seen that, please go check that out. Um, that trucker convoy. Um, there was a lot of good people, done a lot of good things that day, for sure. I think I said hi, Lindsay. Um, Lily is having a meltdown, so Jen had to go take care of that. Yeah. <laughs> that happens all the time. Hey Rachel, how's it going? So I don't even remember where we was at. I don't remember what Jen was talking about. Um when Lily come in with her meltdown. So anyway, 
um, oh yeah, we was talking about moving. Um, we th we think we might have it covered as far as a driver for the big full size school bus, and um, not a hundred percent sure on the food trailer yet. Like Jen was saying, we we could probably tow it with our van, but our van. I don't know that I want to put that much on it. Uh, Sherry Fillmore, new to your channel. Awesome. Well, welcome. Um, hope you like what you see. We do the best we can with what we got. That's all there is to it. Um, but anyway, the van's not the greatest, so I don't really want to put that on the van. Uh, hey, James, how's it going? Yeah, I think I can tow, with the van, I think I can, I know I can tow, like, the sawmill, because it's going to be really light, and we've got a couple pickup bed trailers, one has a welder in it, I can, I can tow that. Yeah. And yeah. so there's smaller things that I can tow, I just can't tow any of that bigger, heavy stuff. And I can always get the food trailer on a different trip with my truck, if I have to, whatever. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll make it work, for sure. Um, Did you say hi to Sherry? Yes, she's new here. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Joe, hello. Hey, Rachel. Greg, hi. How's it going? Uh, drag up, drag up chair. Reference <laughs> 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 serve after the show. Yeah, yeah. If we could pass you a cup through the camera, we would. I right, promise. right. We of try course, to be good hosts. Today I'm drinking tea, not coffee, but you know. Um. Do you know what date yet, Kim? Um. I think that our main trip will be determined by our volunteers. Yeah. So it'll be whenever we can get everybody together. I I don't have. I'm going to say within the next two weeks is when we're going to be taking the main the the buses and the uh, uh, hi Courtney the food trailer you know all that stuff within the next two weeks. So I did talk to the well guy today. Um, because of the rain, it's held him up in Oklahoma a little bit longer than what he thought. Which is okay by me, because I've had so much stuff scheduled this this week, and then I have to get our dogs fixed next week, so long as the vet doesn't have jury duty. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they have they they have to go to the selection process or yeah. whatever, but hopefully we, uh, it'll be after Tuesday. <laughs> so. <laughs> so anyway, I, and I think he's going to go over at Mike's at DD5's because he said the way his trip, he wants his trip to work out is he wants to go the furthest distance first, which is Mike over at DD5. They're going to go do his well, and then they're going to come back to us once he gets done in Oklahoma. So, um, Which, I mean, Mike and Lissa really need it more than we do anyway. Right, because they're, they're there, there, we're not. We're so, not yeah, yet, Mike so. and Lisa definitely need it more. So we don't, we're not, we're not, uh, our feelings aren't hurt that he has to put us off a little bit longer. It actually works better for us anyway. So, um, yeah, thanks Rachel for sharing our, our main channel, Our Mountain Home. That's where you're going to see most of our homesteading stuff and, and our, the, and, the, and the move stuff. Our yeah. move and our off grid stuff. So, yeah. Um, um Glenn, you're correct, but. Um, we pulled a dump trailer back from California, whatever. <laughs> so, a year... It was pretty sketchy, though. <laughs> a little over a year ago Cassandra. in January or December, we went and spent the full month of December with her dad out in Northern California. Mm -hmm. And and her uncle wound up selling us, uh, I mean, basically giving it to us. It was so cheap. But uh, anyway... Yeah. $300 for a dump trailer. We yeah, can pass it up. For a hydraulic dump trailer. Um, and we was like, well, we've got to do it. So we pulled it back with the van from California. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a god awful sight, <laughs> but it, it was, made it. It rode kind of like this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, J and B. I J and B, hello. I forgot to say hello. Cassandra, hi. Are you going to run the pump for the well? Do you have solar or batteries? We don't have anything yet. We're we're really deciding on that. Um, I don't know, I don't know exactly how we're going to do that yet. So did you pick up a pretty top? Yes, we did, CC. Yes, we yes, did. Yes, we did. But we, we have did. some stuff. Hey, Natasha, uh, we have some stuff to unload uh, that's on top of it. So we got to unload our stuff first, and then we might let you see it today. 
Yeah, I told <laughs> Wiley I'd rather take it to your house because you have your shop you can put it in instead of us putting it in our shop that's exposed to the weather. So we went shopping today. We went to the Habitat for Humanity Restore, and they had butcher block countertops for $300. But it was 30% off because Fridays are Ladies' Day. Yeah. So uh, we got it. After tax, I think it was, what, 230 230 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. So So our neighbor, Cece. For an eight-foot-long countertop butcher block. Yeah. So our neighbor, Cece, is redoing his kitchen. Well, he has redone his kitchen, and he wants a butcher block for his island. And he actually wanted me to build one for him, and I was going to be happy to do that. But honestly, I think this one, it's a walnut, and it's oh, beautiful. It's so and I think this is going to fit a whole lot better. So Once um, it's sealed, it's going to be so We pretty. picked it up for him while we was there. Um, I, I, I mean, I don't think I could have done it any cheaper than buying it already done. So, yeah, I, don't uh, think so. I think he's going to be better off with that. That's a whole lot of labor saved. Yeah. And oh, sandpaper and glue and all kinds of stuff. So Mike DD five is off grid. Keep an eye out how he powers his. Yeah, we will. We're we're definitely going to be now. I'm not too. I have. It's a little bit conflicting because I have found some 110 volt pumps that say they're good up to 300 feet deep. You know, uh, some of the people are saying they're just not real high pressure. Which is fine, because we don't need the pressure. We're going to be filling up tanks anyway. Um, we're not going to be running off of that kind of pressure, mm. off, uh, straight off the well. So for now, we might... I think they're like 150 175 bucks on Amazon. I might try one of them to where whenever I need to... Because we're going to have about 600 gallons of storage. So I'm going to be able to pump into a storage tank, fill the storage tank up. And then we're just going to use it out of the storage tank. So um, we only will need to start it every now and then, and uh, to pump the to pump it out into the storage tanks. So the generator, I think that's what we're going to be able to do is just run a generator, you know, maybe two or three times a week, filling up our 600 gallon water tanks, and do it that way. For now. Right. Um, right. Right. Um, I know the well pump we have here is 220, but yeah. Uh, um, Cindy? <laughs> we actually have a whole bunch I of have, IBC totes. I have a whole bunch of IBC totes. About a month ago, we had, I don't know, 60, 80 of them, and Riley was able to sell most of them, but we've stopped selling them because we want to keep the ones that we have. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I've, I've sold probably 60 of them um, and still have probably 20 for me and her to use over in Arkansas. I want to cut some in, so. in half and use them for uh, like race, race flower, flower beds. beds. I want yeah. to use some for dog houses. Uh, we'll use the plastic for the dog house. We'll use the the metal part probably for firewood or something. So, um, James, that's exactly what I'm looking to do. Uh, but... You know, the most of those deep well pumps are 220 volts, and I don't have a generator for that. Uh, so I'm going to try the, one of the 110 and just see what it does. Um, we do have some solar panels, but we don't have any batteries yet. Still haven't so. got batteries. Uh, I have 11, 11 total solar solar panels. I think so. And I think they're 125 watt solar panels, all they, 11 of them. Although we haven't tested them all, so we don't, they're hand-me-downs, they're second hand, so we don't know if they all work yet. Yeah. Um, but the ones I have tested so far have been fine. Um, Cece said, come, come borrow, borrow my, my generator. generator. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be, <laughs> that'd be pretty expensive. Yeah. To drive to come pick up your generator and then go <laughs> fill up our water tanks and then bring it back. Piece by piece, slowly but surely, yes. Right, right. That's how it's working. So earlier, I think... Hey, hey Paul, Paul, how's I it going? Think, I think it was McKevin or somebody who'd asked how many trips it's going to take. As of right now, I've got a list of all of our big stuff that needs to be put on trailers and hauled. And I think that if we can get all of our buses moved in the first trip... The rest of the trips are just going to be me and Wiley hauling stuff with the van and with the truck. And we're up to seven trips. Seven trips. Seven trips. Yeah. So, 
And it takes about a tank of gas in Wiley's truck and a tank of gas in the van to go there and back, and that's uh, about 200 a little over $200 per trip is what it's going to cost yep. us. So. Um, they'll be as powerful as the weakest one, the batteries. Yeah. Um, we're looking at... Hey, Morton. How's hey, it going? Hey, Morton. From Norway. Wow. No How's the silly. weather there? Keep it for... No, silly. Keep it for however long I ran my 220 pump. Wait, so did you, Jen. Huh? Yeah. So mm -hmm. he, he said to borrow his generator and keep it. I know. I use it when we first moved here. We needed a generator. <laughs> we <let me> use <laughs> it. <laughs> but we didn't have a pressure tank yet, so we had to, like, turn it on when we needed it and then turn the power off when we didn't need it. So, Sheila, you said your 110 pump does good. Um, how deep is your well? We don't know how deep ours is going to be yet. Hey, Mike. Hey, that's a good idea, Cindy. I mean, we'll see. I, 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 we've had a ton of people offer the help, but... Honestly, we can't remember who offered I help. can't remember who offered. I mean, you know, of course Drew offered, um, I, uh... Anson had offered to help, but I think their truck... Their truck's down right yeah, now, I think. um, I think. He said, in one of their videos, he said Gary was going to do some work on it for him, so... It must not be running the best. Um... Sean, up at uh, Let's Trade Paint, he's ha he's offered. Oh, um, yeah, I didn't hear that. But it's just it's one of those things that I don't I don't feel right saying. Hey, you remember whenever you said? Yeah. I, I just I'm not one of those type people. So I'm just going to take it one day at a time and get it done. You know. Yeah. Um, a cheap 110 transfer pump hey, on Christy. Solar Works great. Just run the hose down. Rachel, does that work on that deep of a well, though? I mean, we're looking at, you know... Minimum of 80 feet, I think. I'm not sure. Exactly. I th I, yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm ta Siphon I'm thinking... pump. <laughs> get, get ready, Wiley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking we're probably looking at, you know, close to 200 foot. That's kind of what he's telling us. Uh, 180 foot, something like that. And I just don't know... I, it, you know, that's a lot of weight to pick up 180 feet. Paul, I wish you could, too. It'd be nice to meet you. The well is 20 feet deep. We use it for the garden. See, Sheila, that's See, what we're saying is ours is, you know... I think a 20 foot deep is not considered a deep well. A deep well. well. No, it's not. The problem is, is because of the deep well. Well, I could just drive... I could help drive. No, wait. Probably better if I just use the truck. <laughs> well, technically, Michael could drive if you're brave enough to be the passenger. <laughs> I enjoyed how happy Lily was with her bus. Thanks, Barbara. Yeah, oh, she's, she's it's she's, she's such a nut. It's she's every nut. night since it's been pulled out here, she's been wanting to move into can it. I, can she's, I stay in my bus? Every can day stay? she's ready to move into her bus. Yes. And uh, we've got to get the floor done before we can let her do that. So mm -hmm. hopefully we can get that done this evening after this live's over. But, but we forgot to get plastic to cover the top or tarp. Oh, we did. Mm -hmm. It leaks a little bit, so we forgot to get something to cover it. Yeah, because we're going to build a roof over both buses um, once we get to Arkansas, but I can't build a roof over it now. And uh, <laughs> Paul said he's one of those people that people only want to meet once. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, of course, we can't build a roof over it right now until we get to Arkansas, so we've got to do something temporarily. It is what it is, is the fiberglass roof has... Uh, you know, sank in just a little bit, so it puddles water up there, and I've just, uh, I've got to figure out something to keep it from leaking and getting wet while we get it together. Cece said, I can't see well enough to be scared. <laughs> <laughs> but you can still feel it when he turns it, when he takes a turn and you fall over because he turned too sharp <laughs> too fast. Shower curtain, $3 works on your rear window of a car that broke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Yeah, but the roof of the bus is a little bigger than the shower curtain. Yeah, the bus is 8 feet wide and 18 feet long, at least on the inside. That's where we measure. Yeah, inside measurements. Uh, well, the roof is going to be narrower than 8 feet because the walls kind of come up like this. Oh, okay, yeah. And, uh, yeah, you're right. They kind of yeah. bow like they're wide in the middle. Buffering for everyone else? No, nope, okay. Paul, it's just, uh, you know, you know how it is over overseas. You know, if you was in America, it wouldn't buffer. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sounds so like a trip, trip to Harbor Freight. Freight. Yeah, yeah, probably. We're gonna have to yeah. do something. As long as he doesn't wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> I like the windows on hers compared to mine. Yeah, ours, our, hey, Tony. so our bus is pretty much the exact same thing as Lily's bus, except the windows are upside down. So we've got the two little bitty windows up on top and the big window on bottom, and hers, the two little bitty windows is on bottom and the big window on top. It's and she weird. pointed that out. She's like, hey, your windows are just like mine, except upside down. So four shower curtains, 12 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just use some of that metal mobile home roof paint is elastic. Yeah, you're right. That, that's, I mean, we might wind up doing that. I'm not sure yet. But, uh, yeah, you're, you're definitely right. That. Uh, I found a can of Flex Seal in the shed. Did you? We could just spray it on. That stuff's been out there for like five years. It's probably not even any good anymore. But we can see. It'd make a good video. Yeah, hey, we can how, try how long does Flex Seal last? When it's been frozen and thawed and then heated and then thawed and... Oh, the chat was moving, but not us. <laughs> <laughs> Duct tape works wonders. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, yeah, so I've been reading on Amazon. Um... That stuff is good. It went through 10 hurricanes in yeah, Florida. Yeah, I've lived all my life in mobile homes. And that, that we've used tons of that stuff on those mobile homes. And it is really good. You're, you are absolutely right. Uh, it works really good. Um, Glenn and Shannon said that the 115, the 115 volt pumps uh, are more efficient these days. So anyway, I've been looking on Amazon. And a lot of those uh, 115 or you know 120 volt 110, whatever you want to call it. James, uh, don't forget the bailing wire. Oh, guaranteed, <laughs> we won't. <laughs> the 120 volt pumps that they're selling on Amazon, they're like 150 bucks, mm -hmm. and you know, there's a lot of people saying that they've got them in deep wells. That and they said the pressure is just not super high, but we're not worried about that. Like I said, we're just worried about filling up totes anyway. So, um, I guess it's worth a try. And then we'll just use a 12-volt, like, RV pump for transferring our water yeah. from, from out of the tanks. Yeah, from out so. of the tanks into the into the bathroom and stuff, yeah. Could you just do a hand pump? I mean, maybe, but that would take a lot of work. Hand pumping 600 gallons, that's a I, lot. I, I, is what I would It'd like to... it make us be very, very conservative yeah. with our water. <laughs> What I would like to do, and I've, I've been rolling some things around in my head trying to figure out how to make it work, but I would like to be able to find a pump that would run off the PTO of my tractor. So all I'd have to do is pull my tractor up there, hook the PTO shaft up, kick it on, let it fill them up, unhook, and go on about my business. Uh, that would be awesome. Not having to run a generator uh, using my tractor. Uh, the tractor is super fuel, fuel efficient, so... Uh, I think that would be a better deal if I can figure out a pump that would that would pull that much with the tractor. <laughs> Rachel said it would take a good day to hand pump that. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'd definitely be taking turns. Uh, on a positive note, we'd all be pretty buff by the end of it, though. <laughs> um, uh, they say Gorilla Tape works great. We actually have some, like, four-inch Gorilla, a whole roll of four-inch Gorilla Tape around That's here That's stuff somewhere. we bought for the van, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and then we never used right. it. and then we never used it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got some aluminum airplane metal tape to fix a few holes. That stuff's still um, been on there for 18 years. Wow. Put a motor on it. Yeah, right, Brett. That's exactly, <laughs> that. you're exactly right. I just, James, I, I mean, I'm assuming that would probably work. I don't know. Uh, hi, guys. Didn't get the notification. Who was that? Katie? No? Yep. Katie. Hi, Katie. Hey, Katie. Uh, Jane B. <laughs> Wiley, you're you are some, some kind of genius. genius. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I tried telling him that, but, you know. Well, I mean, I haven't got it figured out yet, so I'm obviously not that much of a genius, but I'm going to try to figure it out. Um, you know, it's amazing, like, how many things that we look for that aren't necessarily available. One thing in particular is when we build our house, we want to stay off the grid. And I like to have an oven, and we already have one of those countertop um, five-burner 
stove top things that's gas and we cannot find a gas hang on I don't want that right this second we don't have we can't find a gas wall mount stove like or uh, oven for anything I mean that doesn't require electricity no I'm I've... gonna have to buy one from like the 70s or something that doesn't <laughs> require electricity because I mean other than to, I mean maybe plug it in to run the little thing on it but I want something with knobs and I want it to run off of gas and I want to be able to use it without 220 genius pure genius <laughs> yeah i don't know um glenn that's your pro you may be right i don't know we'll we'll figure it out uh, i actually so i've got a generator out here that's got a bad motor on it and it does have 240 volts so if i could figure out how to hook the pto up shaft up to this generator of course it's got a i don't know 14 or 16 or whatever horse gas motor on it if I could figure out how to get them two connected, then, I mean, I might be able to make my own PTO-driven generator. Um, I'm actually working on that right now. I've got it setting out on my uh, saw horses and got some stuff tore apart on it. I got a pulley rigged up on the front of it. So now I've got to figure out how to get a, a bigger pulley to overdrive, if that makes sense, to overdrive the generator and, uh, you know, just put a, a belt driven to, to belt drive the generator. Cindy yeah. said, just record it, Wiley. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh, she's lurking in the background, Paul. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, Rachel, yeah. I need Mike a, Henderson, hello. I need a, a, an oven that is going to work in our house. Yeah. So, like we said, so, we ha I have looked everywhere trying to find an uh, uh a propane oven that does not use electricity. So, so many of them now have the electric igniter where, like our oven in our kitchen right now, it's a propane stove, but you can't, you can use the stove top without uh, electricity. You could just light it, you know, but the oven has like this thing that glows in it and that's what starts the flame in the bottom of it and it's just awful. So Cece had said, just use a propane grill. I did before I met Wiley. Oh, we and have, yeah. Stoves, I did. Yeah. We don't currently have a propane grill, so that would also be a problem. But the thing is, is that I want an oven inside the house because when you're baking bread, you can't take your bread that has just reached its rise outside in the cold to put it in the oven. It's gonna fall and ruin your bread. Right, so. Right. Um. M Mac said that she never put. They never plugged theirs in. So, oh, nice. I, which I'm assuming a lot of that has to do with the electric igniter. So you'd just have to use a lighter to light your flame. You know, it wouldn't be a big which deal. Which would be okay. Yeah. I would totally be okay with that. Um, but I remember, you know, the old ovens back in the day, even the even the cook stove top, you know, they just had a little, uh, a little pilot, light. pilot light flame burning all the time. And whenever you go to turn it on, it turned on, you know? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So that's what I've been telling her is that's what we need to check is just for old appliances that, you know, has the, the actual and, flame. And now they all have the digital thing on the front with the buttons. So if you don't have it plugged in, you can't set the temperature. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, that's something. Actually, we went to Habitat for, for Humanity today and uh, got... Some carpet for Lily's bus. They had some really nice oven wall. They had some too, really nice wall electric. ovens, but they was every one of them was electric. Uh, they didn't have any propane. Um, so yeah, if any of you guys over there, local to Arkansas, especially or local around here, happen to run across a one hundred percent propane oven with knobs to set yeah. the temperature, we need one. I don't want the buttons because then you have to plug it in to be able to set your temperature on it and. We're trying to off the DC igniter. Yeah, some of them do. Yeah. So the thing is, is our RV ovens are so tiny. I mean, in my experience, which I haven't ever had a new one, but older ones, the ovens are so small that it's just a little bit bigger than a toaster oven, and I want something at least you, big enough to cook a turkey in. Yeah, you can't put a turkey in one and cook it. Most of them. Or I've a big ever roast. Seen. Yeah. You know. Or you know, even a big cake pan. <laughs> Won't even fit in. Paul said, you see, know. Jen's got knobs on the brain. 
that's the way my RV works, oven works. Yeah, James, that's what we're saying, though. Like I said, it's just a little, they're, they're small. And, you know, for the family our size and the way Jen cooks. And the, the RV ones are usually a stove. Usually it's an oven and it has the stove top. And they're just mini versions of what you put in the house. Usually, that's my experience. Like I said, I haven't. So, and, and RVs nowadays are getting super fancy. And Rachel so. was saying hers work off a DC igniter. That's another thing we would like to stay away from is I don't want to have to go buy batteries. I mean, I know they probably last forever in one. I know our water heater uh, does. We replace the batteries in our water heater like once a year. Twice in five years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Not even once a year. Um, yeah, you're right. I mean... What about a gas oven that just needs to be converted to propane? I, it, yeah, if I could find the jets, that wouldn't be a problem at all. The thing is, is we're looking for a wall mount oven because we have a really nice countertop range. Daisy um, wants to know what kind of puppies we have. We have Anatolian Shepherd puppies. Yeah. They're livestock guardian dogs. We have five of them. Four females and one male. <laughs> One of the females is already spoken for. so. Oh, they have a solar panel on theirs. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Make, Make it, it now and freeze, freeze dry. dry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been freeze drying so we, much stuff. We have so much freeze dried stuff. It's ridiculous. Old mobile home parks and see if they have any. Right? Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, um, I like I said, I mean, I've been looking a lot and I haven't found anything yet. Thanks, but. Lynn. She said my hair looks nice. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, did, I didn't notice. Of course you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go get one. Bring it in here. Hi, Miss Kitty. Um. Just deep cycle marine from Walmart with charge controller and a solar panel. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Mm. But that's another thing, you know, like I said, we don't have our batteries for our solar yet. So, um, you know, hoping to be able to get that done pretty pretty quick. But I know a guy there that put propane grill igniters on his off-grid propane stove and oven. Wow. And then that makes, that's the way they was built back in the day. You know, the older ones was built that way. He used to notice, James. He doesn't notice. <laughs> All he notices is if dinner is on the table at a certain time. Just kidding. All right, Ford dude. We'll have fun. Check oh, here's one RV of them. Is this the boy? The no, this is oh, a yes. girl. Oh, one of them. There, there's one of the pups. This one's the darkest one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little fatty. Yeah, a little it's chunky. Also, it's also the noisiest. Oh. Contact Jackery oh, and Blue Eddie. Yeah. So cute. I mean, yes, we're we're definitely going to be doing that. Uh, I mean, we don't know how to do that, but I'm sure we'll figure it all out and uh, wind up, you know, trying to do something like that. Cross our fingers and hope we are able to. Just get two RV ovens. <laughs> Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> the worst thing to do is say no. Yeah, right. We we just don't know how to do that. Um, I'm sure Jen's gonna have to get good at that though. So we haven't tried to do that yet. <laughs> Lily, no. Glenn and Shannon said, "Well, if it we work 500 miles away, we'd come get that one." Yeah. <laughs> Lily's playing with the laser for the cat. Did you get your mess cleaned up out there yet? Notices when Jen's loading the wash machine and if it. If his hair is getting <laughs> I'll be right back, y'all. So, yeah, anybody needs some puppies, let us know. We've got, yeah, no what, kidding. five of them? Five, well, we've four. Got four. Four girls. What? Four we, girls. Oh, we already got one gone, huh? Yeah, so we've got three. Yeah, we already got one counted for. So, three girls and one boy. Yeah. Jen contacts DD5 and ask them to help contact. Yeah, we're going to. Um, probably should have already been working on that, but uh, yeah, that's exactly what I mean. We're going to try it and see what happens. 
We did get an offer here a while back for a Jackery um, type setup. Uh, she got an email and, you know, they offered it to us to do a, a video. And, you know, we don't want to accept anything and do a, a, what do they call that? Collab. We don't want to do a collab unless it's something that we absolutely are going to be able to use and we got we was wretch out and we told them we would take it and we never heard back from them so we don't know what happened there um it, it was weird so hidden heights farm just sold seven puppies like yours well we're giving them away sheila we don't need to sell them we just want them gone that's that's all there is to it yeah, if we saw them, we'd hardly make anything. So if this is right, they stopped making pilot light stoves in 1990. That might help you find one. Oh, wow, okay, Actually, cool. we've got, like, six puppies we need to get rid of. The two yeah, right I know, there, the two but... older puppies, yeah. Yeah. I have a youngster on this estate that wanted to buy another with laser pen, 12-year-old, and lost his eyesight. Yeah, we, uh, we've been really on them about that. I just want to build one with cinder blocks or bricks, paper. You know, you're, it would be so easy to build one. So it's been quite a few years ago. Um, I built one that was uh, actually for uh, powder coating. If you know anything about powder coating, it's basically just a huge oven where you can put metal stuff in it and melt the, melt the powder to coat the metal it's better than paint um i've done that before and i've built one before but the problem is is i can't build one inside the house i probably could but i don't want to build it inside the house uh and like jen said she don't want to have to you know let her or her bread rise inside the house and then pick it up and take it outside it's going to cause it to fall so we have to have a good regular oven to put inside the house. But we've got a minimum of two years probably before we need to find one. So we've got a lot of time to do research. So if yeah. anybody comes across something like that, just let us know or comes up with some ideas. Now, actually, go. when we build our house, I might be able to build one in there um, myself. So uh, as far as that goes. But I, I'm thinking of the temporary living space. Mm -hmm. You know, we we would be better off with one that's already built for the temporary. But as far right, as right. in the house, I think I could build one. I think we could even use like a, um, you know, we could live off of a toaster oven for a couple of years. That'd be okay. I've done that before. I've just kind of gotten spoiled having a real oven, a full size oven. <laughs> Have. Oh, Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You need to check Instagram. Right okay, now. I'll check Instagram. Yeah. That's the only social media that I have now. And I don't I don't check it very often. Um Emily is actually the bread baker lately. Oh, so. yeah. Emily made some has the last couple of weeks has made some really awesome. She's doing a really good job. She's it's doing like, like And a it's bread. even pretty. So, you know, she's doing like a braided sure. French bread and it's, it's so pretty. Bread, I think. I don't even know what that means. I just know it's delicious. Yep. Maybe we should just build a pizza oven, Wiley. That, and that's what I... I mean, it, it's probably not exactly a, a pizza fired, oven, but wood fired it would be oven. something pretty close. So I don't know how well y'all can see this, but look at that. Ooh. That's pretty. There is so a good. cool oven with bricks that bake pizzas, etc. I saw in have you seen the pizza oven they make out of you? So you take an old um, cast iron bathtub, and you cut it in oh, half and yes. flip it up. You know, put it together and make the pizza oven out of it. They're really cool. That's a that's a really cool oven. But hey, there Mary. again, I think for the most part, unless you're building it as a fireplace type thing, you know, uh, you would like that. I don't think you would want that sitting in your house. The, the one that you build out of the bathtub. That's yeah. an outdoor oven. Yeah, That's yeah, not yeah. really an indoor oven. But I've seen indoor pizza ovens. Or uh, build a fireplace and then put the oven on top of it. 
Oh yeah, Rachel, if you haven't seen that, you need to check them out. They're really cool. They're all... They're, I've seen numerous videos on the internet about them, and uh, they're really cool. And then they do, like, brick around them, so they make them look really neat. Yeah. You can't tell that it's an old bathtub. Yeah, they insulate around it, and then they brick around it, and it's it's really cool. Just look up bathtub pizza oven. I bet it'll pull it I up. bet it would. <laughs> I'll see if I can find a pizza oven. Yeah, like I said, it... it, it uh... Most of them that I've seen would be more of an outdoor style. And that's that's where I'm getting is we really need one indoor for what you was talking about. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's that's where the problem is going to be. But Randy Ridge, we, hey. But if we had something that had to be vented like that, then it probably wouldn't end up in the kitchen because of the way our house is going to be built. It's going to be kind of Earthship style with like the U-shaped rooms in it. And we don't want to put any holes in our roof. Yeah. So we would have to. It would have to be on the front wall of the house. Um. So it may not be in the kitchen. I'm not sure. What I might have to do it. is just build us a, a a wood stove, you know, a, or a fireplace mm -hmm. that we can that would serve both. Right. And I've seen them. You have your fireplace below, and then you have this little door that opens at the top, and there's, that's where your oven is. Keeping it Dutch has it eat an oven on mm -hmm. top of his fireplace. Yeah. I've yeah. seen them. They look really neat. Hey, Randall, or my second act. Hey, my second Randall? act. Uh, uh. Time's almost up already. Holy moly. Yeah, I went quick today. Yeah, you've got like 10 minutes left. So, we talked to Drew. Steve. Oh, Steve, said, yeah. sorry. We talked to uh, build a small bread kitchen in a shed. Uh, yeah. That's not a bad idea. Just be another building. I mean, we're open to all sorts of different ideas. Yeah. You know where I'd spend all day if we did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I didn't Emily made cookies would... earlier. <laughs> Emily's been a baking machine lately. She's trying to make us all fat before we move. I've been very bored lately. <laughs> right. Find someone that's redoing old houses. Yeah, so we can get our hands on one of those old so ovens. Glenn said he just texted a friend of his that has one of his deer camp, a peerless brand. And it has a battery igniter. I mean, that would work mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I promise I could figure out how to make the battery igniter work without batteries. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that would work. We're just, I, 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 I was hoping to stay away from having to buy batteries. I mean, because, you know, as you guys know, if anything ever happens, going to the store and buying batteries is not going to be possible. Right. And, uh, You know, we're just trying to prepare for that, I oh, guess. Steve said he makes all kinds of different cheesecake. Hunter's a cheesecake loving fool. There's two channels I've mentioned here today. <laughs> <laughs> so, there was something I was going to say. Oh, we had talked to Drew, and Drew has told us that he's going to leave his backhoe at, at Jeff's so that we can use it because there's a lot of big stuff that we have that we really need our tractor in both places. Hey, Rochelle! And... That just isn't, I mean, our tractor takes up a minimum of half of, or probably two-thirds of our gooseneck trailer. And then we wouldn't be able to fit a lot on there. So Drew's going to leave his backhoe there so that we can unload stuff when we get it there. We, I think we have two loads of stuff that needs to be unloaded and unloaded with a tractor. Yeah. And we are thinking about making a trip in the next few days and then... If not, our, our first trip will be when we go to have the well drilled next week. But we want to get those trips done as soon as possible so that Drew can... I mean, who knows? We may wind up Sunday taking something over there. Right. Just, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. It depends on the weather, really. Yeah. Because we want to make sure we can get in there and without getting stuck. So if you guys that. watched any of the, the Drew videos... Drew is an MVP, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Uh... Emily's in and out. Yeah, she's just kind of in and out. She was here a second um, ago. She was now here. She disappeared. Yeah. Um. So anyway, if you've watched any of the videos, we went over there uh, back in what November or something like that, and we pulled up a bunch of tree um, roots and done a lot of dirt work. So I don't think the ground has actually settled a hundred percent yet. So with a lot of uh, a lot of rain like we've been having lately. I think it's going to be real hard to get in and out back there. 
so we just got to watch what we do when we go over there, uh, make sure we're not going to get stuck and be able to get stuff put where it needs to go. Drew and Lindsay are definitely in our top 10 favorite people. Yeah. Yeah. Probably one of the main reasons we're moving to Arkansas. Mm Mm-hmm. The whole fram- family is great, but we are closest to Drew and Lindsay, and we I love them to death. But, of course, I think we've spent more time with Drew and Lindsay than we have anybody yeah. else, to be honest. Uh, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think we've actually got to meet you yet. No, we don't even know what you look like. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's... Midnight it's Adventures, gonna, hey, guy. It's, How's it going? It's going to be happening soon. <laughs> Soon, soon, soon. Yeah, soon, it's like, it's uh, too soon. <laughs> oh, it got yeah. motel booked for Awesome. Them, you know. Which one? I would say probably Maze. Drew is definitely, definitely solid, solid people, yeah. For sure. Probably a muddy mess right now, yeah. So yeah, it's, I'm our, afraid so. Our driveway there is a road that's been there for a really long time. Of course, it's just a, a road that the farmer used to you know, drive the property line or whatever, but it's, um, it's very, very, in Paris, um, so that's the, oh, I don't know, that's the Pinecone Fest, oh, Pinecone Fest, is it, I think that's down in that area, Lynn, no, we're not gonna go, um, yeah, we're not going to Homestead, yeah, we're not gonna go to the Hoagie Homestead and Expo, uh, we just got too much stuff going on, and it's just not gonna be possible, and it costs too much, I mean, even at ten dollars admission, it's gonna cost us sixty bucks just to get in with our kids, and then if they, I don't know if they charge for parking or not, and then you got food and all of that, and then the travel, and it's just too big of an expense this close to moving. We're trying to put all of our resources towards making the move, oh, and then no. paying our bills. So. He, he's talking about the motel rooms in Paris. It's Paris North of Magazine. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, right, okay, right, yeah. right. Sweet. Well, we'll meet you in May then. Yeah, we'll see you in May. Um, Paul, I'm absolutely going to have to check that out. Midnight Adventures, uh, hello. Going great. If we wasn't getting snow squalls, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was, I'm glad we're not. It literally rained here for probably a solid 24 hours. Yeah. And it is wet. It's wet, wet. Our driveway is awful. When but we, when we leave, we're fishtailing out of the driveway, going sideways, sliding in the mud. It's kind of fun. Luckily, it was a good hard rain, and it just ran off, and it's drying out really mm-hmm. quickly. So it wasn't that slow soaking rain. Everything just ran off. So. You have to pay in advance for both days at the Oki Homestead next mm. week. Holy cow! We went the first I year, and it was fun. This year's meetups, hoping we can get things lined up for next spring. Awesome. Well. That'd be awesome, Joe. Yep. I promise there'll be stuff going on next year, so long as the, you know, stuff doesn't hit the fan. I paid last October. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he has a ton of cool ideas for a DIY oven. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Natasha wants to know if James wants to house swap. House swap. <laughs> <laughs> Pouring rain in West Tennessee right now. Um, yeah, that's that's probably. I know, what it's we all had. this stuff that we've had moving that way. I'm sure. Yeah. I just, yeah. Has anybody seen if uh, Anthony and Roxanne's coming on after me, or if or have they got a live schedule? Does anybody know? I have not. Yeah, I know. It's getting to be the end of the day, and I'm getting tired. About about five or six o'clock, I'm ready to go to bed, and then if I but then if I get caught up in something, I'll usually sit here and reply to comments or do ed- work on editing a video or something and then I end up staying up till like midnight but I start getting really tired this time of day um do 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 dang it uh, what's stupid you say I enjoy you I, that stupid heart I hate that heart the heart in the you middle able to something your trailer bed and lock in that log good thinking I'm a Use your trailer bed and lock in that log. I guess the on the sawmill. Not sure. In other words, folks, Jen's getting old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yep, I'm I am. glad I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anything. What? What are you talking about, James? Oh, the schedule or the the live, I guess. It's bringing rain here in South Georgia all day. Uh, Rachel at magnet fishing at the hot springs in the desert. <laughs> We haven't got much rain in southwest Missouri. Really? I'm not looking, and it's all I'm seeing is the live from last week. Oh, the hole in the trailer. Okay. <laughs> that trailer has lots of holes. Yeah. <laughs> and the, some of them are because we had a tree company that was clearing for power lines, and they loaded us up. I mean, we got four or five big loads on our 30-foot gooseneck of trees and some of them still had limbs sticking off of them a little bit and they went right through the floor of the trailer <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's cloudy outside now y'all got me yawning again it's cloudy outside and it's just good like nap weather it's not cold so to speak bye tammy but See ya. We're getting up to 10 inches of snow on Sunday. Can oh, share? my. Wow. No, we don't you want can, any. You can you, share you with can, somebody else. You can keep us. it all. <laughs> we don't want any of that. Does Jan have a live tonight? I don't know. Does Jan? I think Jan don't come on till like 6, does she? I'm not sure. I know her and somebody else comes on at the same time. And I can't remember who it is. Jean, where are yeah, you? Yeah, Jean, where are you? <laughs> they need the extra snow at either polar region. Yeah, right. <laughs> winter wasn't here all winter, and now it comes. That's what my dad was saying, because my dad's in Northern California this year in Nevada mountain range, and he was saying, this winter really hasn't been all that bad, and then they just had a snowstorm roll through, and I haven't been able to get a hold of him. Jan's at six. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's at the same time as DD5. That's what I thought. I was thinking that two of them went on the same time, and I couldn't remember who it was. <sighs> um, so, Jean is in Dang. southern Minnesota. Vermont got 12 inches there. Holy moly. Coming for New Northern Hampshire, too. New Hampshire. Dang. Wow. We're very dry. need the moisture. Well, that's good, then. I mean... Just having to deal with the with the snow kind of stinks. Yeah. We've been pretty dry around here too, and uh, we've got a little bit of rain off and on, but it was not very much. And then we got a lot for the last two days, so I think we're pretty good now. Luckily, it didn't snow here. Bye, CC. Because if it was snow and not rain, we'd have a minimum of 10 and 12 inches, I think. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee you. Because mm -hmm. we got a couple inches of rain. Our pond is super full. Yeah, you're right, Midnight Adventures. That's, uh, I, I, everybody keeps telling me, hey, you need to replace those boards on that, on that trailer. And I'm like, well, I wish I knew somebody had a sawmill. Yeah. <laughs> Five inches of snow in eastern Iowa, dang. You know, it's always, always the mechanic drives the junky car. You know, the the cook probably has fast food for dinner every night. You know, I mean, it's just that kind of a thing. The, the contractor's house is never finished. Yeah. And uh, it's just that kind of a thing that, you know, I, I, I worry about working on everybody else's stuff before I do mine. So. Don't know, Steve. Uh, right now, we are working really hard on trying to get Bye, the, Tasha. the buses ready for the move, and firing up the sawmill has not, we have not had time to do that. Yeah, no. Oh, hey, Larry. Uh, oh, yeah, I I have lived near that area in California before. Yeah. Is there an oven in the food the, trailer? No, the there's The shoemaker's kids are barefoot, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. No, there is not an oven in the food trailer. Um, so when we got it off of Sheila, Sheila gave us a... And I don't know, she told us a trick to try to work to get the... It's, But she gave us a... What is it? Rotisserie. Like, it's a toaster oven, but a, a toaster rotisserie. Oven. Yeah. And it's a pretty good-sized toaster oven. I was really um, excited about but it. But I couldn't get it to come on. But she kind of told me a trick to try, and I haven't got to try it yet. So Yeah, the cord was...
kind of, I think the mice had eaten the cord and it was shorting out when I was cleaning the trailer. I was actually like cleaning the top of it and it shocked me and I was like, uh-oh. And so Wiley had to replace the cord on it, but then we couldn't get it to turn on. Right, I'm the same way, Barb. I'd rather sweat than freeze. I hate cold weather. I don't know. Once I get used to going into the winter, going into the cold weather, I hate it. But once you get used to it, then I'm out there in 20 degree weather with no jacket on. I mm -hmm. mean, it's just that getting acclimated is, and that's what hurts so bad here in Oklahoma is because you get those hot summers and then you got to acclimate to the winter and then you, you know, I mean. And yeah. one day you're 115 outside and the next day it's freezing. Yeah. Right. So it's, yeah. If, if it was cold year-round, I think it wouldn't be so bad. But <laughs> Chrissy said, I understand now why old folks move to Florida. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Sherry. Thank you so much for hanging out Yeah, with thanks us. for ha hanging out, Sherry. I was raised old school when you heated with wood and cooked a pig on a fire. Right, yeah. right. Well, you're going to be seeing us do a little bit of that, probably. All Find out of necessity. wooden stove with the ovens. Actually, so if you want to know the truth, um, while we was at Jen's house, or Jen's dad's house last year, her uncle has the most awesome stove that we could ever ask for. The problem is, is I think it's, good, it's bigger than our house. It's huge. Yeah. It's huge. But it's an, probably a 40s model, I'd say. It's, 30s, it's, 40s. It's like white and like that porcelain, teal, uh, green color or turquoisey color. It's so and I'm pretty cool. sure even it. on one side of it, it had the wood fired part, so mm -hmm. it could be wood fired or propane. Mm -hmm. And he gave it to us. He said we could have it, and we were gonna bring it back, but we didn't know if we could put it in that. But that trailer. thing was... weighs like a thousand pounds, and the trailer that we pulled back was way too big for the car anyway. We didn't want to put the extra thousand pounds on it. So, we so had to leave if it. we're able to get back to her dad's house, we might have a stove. But <laughs> it is an amazing stove. I mean, it is something, and it's all there. It has yeah. all the knobs. It has the covers that go over the the burners to make it more of like a countertop, which I'd, I'd probably use it more as a countertop and just use the oven um, because we do have a nice cooktop for the counter yeah. um, that I want to use. So I want to be able to make my kitchen, build my kitchen to be YouTube friendly because my current kitchen is not. And when I want to do cooking videos in the future, I want to be able to do them easier. So, so. her dad's place is in Northern California, Joe. Mm -hmm. Um, up by Donner's Pass, all that stuff. Uh, he's off grid, way off in the mountains up there, and man, I'm telling you, it is an amazing stove. But to be able to go all the way out there and get it home, I'm just not sure how much that's going to mm -hmm. how, how that's going to happen. <laughs> Barb says I could go out looking like the Michelin Man and still wine. <laughs> 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 when I delivered mail, I'd put on five layers of clothes. And then if I dropped something, it was really hard to pick it up. <laughs> My, I hate it because, you know, I've, I've actually, whenever I was running the wrecker, I've bought some of the pretty expensive coveralls. And, but you get out there, and I mean, I would be under these trucks pulling drive shafts out and releasing brakes and stuff in two, three foot of snow. And, you know, the first five minutes you're under there, then you're sweating inside those coveralls. And I hate that. I can't. I just can't wear them. I, I, I don't. I don't like them at all. I don't like to bundle up like it. So, Steve, my dad would. I couldn't pay him enough to move from where he's at. Yeah. No. He's got his off-grid tree house in the mountains, and he loves it. Yeah. And he said that the California politics don't really reach him with how far away he, far out he is, and he's got everything paid for, so he doesn't have any bills. And he absolutely hates the humidity and the heat. And he had come to visit me a few years ago in 2019. And he doesn't ever want to come back <laughs> to this area. I mean, and Arkansas is just as humid and hot as it is here. So, Daisy, yes, you're right. 
Um, but the thing about a washing machine is, is they run off 110 volts. Worst case scenario, um, you know, run a generator for a couple hours a day to wash your laundry. Um, best case scenario is we're going to have uh, uh, a we good enough so solar setup that we could run it for, you know, a load or two a day and be okay. Mm -hmm. um, you know, whichever works, you know. But being 110 volt is not that big of a deal, so it's an appliance that I think we can make work okay. We will need to find a gas dryer, though. Yeah, I need a propane, a propane dryer. dryer. Yeah, yeah. Washboard and ringer. Now, I'm not that desperate. I have an idea. So, I told Jen the other day, and, you know, if I decide to try this, you guys are going to see it, I'm sure. So, I don't know, two years ago, um, one of our really good friends uh, was tearing down this barn or whatever, and there was one of the old washing machines ringer in there. Ringer washers. So, it's the tub, and it has the ringers on the back of it, you know, the big rollers on the back of it, where you run your clothes through it to squeeze the water out of them. But it's electric. It's 110 volt. But, you know, it's just a motor underneath with a belt that runs the washing machine. I can take that motor off and hook it up to a gas motor and do the same thing. So we may have a, you know, lawnmower motor on a washing machine to do our laundry. We'll see. Uh, Wiley's a lot like Tim the Tool Man Taylor. <laughs> it's going to have a 14 horse motor on this washing machine. <laughs> It's gonna spin our clothes so good that they hang themselves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Rachel, um, you're exactly right. But you know, there you there you go with problems when it's raining, when it's cold, when it's what I'm. Th I've got a uh, uh, 16 foot box truck. It was it, it's the box off the back of a box truck, and I'm thinking about making that basically our laundry room and hanging up stuff in there. Uh, where we can, you know, where it's not out in the weather. But yeah, um, you're exactly right. I mean, drying's not a big, a big deal, but. Unless it's cold or wet, then your clothes don't dry very fast. And I've, I don't mind. There's sometimes <laughs> that I would hang laundry here just to save money. But then I leave it out there, and then it gets rained on, and then I have to wait for it to dry again, and then by the time you take it off, your towels can stand up by themselves because they're so crusty. Did you anyway. see what Glenn Chit said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> also, but you are in the desert. Yeah, so right. I think you get less rain. A lot than better. Oh, yeah, it'd be a lot easier to do down there. Than it would I'm, be I'm not 100 percent positive on that, but I reckon that being in the desert, you get less rain. Well, and that's what she said. Yeah. Uh, the so yeah. So up here, I mean, I've done it. Uh, whenever I was younger, that's my mom done it. You know, for the first 10, 12 years of my life. Uh, and I mean, yes, it's definitely an an, mm. an easy option. Matter of fact, I don't know if you guys have seen it or not, but there was a Facebook post here a while back I seen, and it was this old woman, two old women, or two, no, two young women, standing out beside a clothesline, and they had their clothes lined up on their clothesline, and one of them looked at the other one, and she said, it's the latest solar-powered, wind-powered, off, you know... Off-grid you know, dryer. <laughs> yeah, dr this is how we dry clothes now. It's so, you know... So retro. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, uh, Rachel said, first year we got a ton of rain. Last year, hardly any dang. Well, line dry towels are for exploding. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lehman's has a propane so range oven. I've huh. actually heard about Lehman's. They are, they focus in old stuff old off-grid stuff like that. Doug and Stacy off-grid with oh, Doug and Stacey, yeah. They've talked about that. But I think that, that the one I that might be the one I looked at. They want like forty five hundred dollars for one of them. And That's not gonna happen. I just want an oven. I don't need a range. Yeah. I just need an oven. Vinegar on rinse cycle, line dried clothes. Oh won't be all yeah. I no. bet that makes sense, yeah. 
I know Mom did it somehow. I don't know how she did it. But, I mean, there was times that they was, but there was times they wasn't. She might have used fabric softener. <laughs> no, my mom didn't buy fabric softener, I promise. Right, right, Midnight Adventures. So, I, many of you may know this already, but many of you may not. I grew up off-grid in Northern California. So, when I was a kid, up until about when I was 10, we lived in the middle of the woods. And we had to haul water. We, our electricity was a generator. Um, the only time we got to watch TV was either Saturday morning cartoons or when my parents wanted to watch the news. All the other time we had to be outside. And it was really actually a pretty great lifestyle. Um, so I think I can, even nowadays, even 20 years later, 25 <laughs> years later, I can still, I don't turn the lights on at night when I need to get a drink. I know where the sink is. I just make my way there, you know? That, so, that's funny, Christy. That's really funny. It was just a, Daddy told Mama we didn't have the right electrical for a dryer, but after he died, found out they did. <laughs> it's just, it wasn't already dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Glenn, it's funny. Whenever I was growing up, we didn't have a dryer. Um, we didn't have a, a ice maker in the, you know, in the in the refrigerator we didn't have an air conditioner so that's you know i think i've been off on that binge before that we had a you know what we call water coolers so a swamp cooler uh that's what we grew up with and the day that me and my brother moved out of our house mom went and got a brand new side-by-side -side refrigerator with an ice maker in it she went and bought a brand new uh window unit for the house so she had ac she went and bought a wash, brand new washer and dryer. She just loaded up whenever me and Brian left. She'd been but, saving. Yeah. She'd been saving. <laughs> I say all the time, we're not going to have anything nice till we till the kids move out. I'm not going to worry about ever buying a nice couch or anything till all the kids are grown. Yes, we did, Steve. Uh. <laughs> didn't you have to walk uphill both ways to school in the snow? <laughs> so, technically, yes. <laughs> but I had shoes. I wasn't barefoot, so that was a, an improvement. And um, in the winter time, when the snow got too bad, we were homeschooled because there was no getting to school every day. Ten years off grid. Uh, she didn't have to worry about you guys tearing it up. Exactly. I mean, that's. I think that's what it was all about. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I know we can't have nothing nice with our kids. They're too rough on anything. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. No, I think we need to get off here because we need to get out there and get on Lily's bus. Mm -hmm. um, dark's coming really quick. And it's going to be like 9 o'clock before I get dinner done. So, because we're going to go work on this bus before I cook dinner. Yep. Can't have nothing nice. Yeah, right. Never been truer words. <laughs> No, say it's not so. <laughs> we had air and eventually an ice maker. We used those old aluminum ice trays. They had to pull the lever. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. That's, or, I mean, of course, yes. we had the plastic ones, too, that you just twist and break. But yeah. I remember those metal ones. Oh, yeah. We had them. Yeah. Yeah. If you if your fingers were wet when you grabbed them, your fingers Your fingers stick to them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Anyway, we need to get off here so we can get out there and get to work on Lily's bus. If it and, was raining, uh, we'd hang out with y'all for yeah. longer, but... We got to get out there. It's not work. raining, and it's we need to get out there and get to work. Uh, yeah. So, oh, I'm tired. I got to get moving before I take a nap. <laughs> thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We're going to have to oh. get moving. Well, good. Goat Days goes live in 15 minutes. Y'all can go check them out. Oh, hey, perfect. There you yeah. go. Walk back and forth to school, but no way I let my kids do it in the city. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Steve, since we've already recorded a lot of that, this will probably just be another video. video. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll record this to make another video. So, yeah. Yeah, because i got to cut out all the parts where Lily and Hunter are arguing. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right, guys. we got to get off here. Y'all might not want to come back for more if y'all got to witness how it actually went. So. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. Please don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. And don't forget that we go live on our main channel, Our Mountain Home, Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yep. Yep. So we'll see y'all later. And then, yeah, go check out Wiley's 
hey you delivering video it's called rolling with relief on the thumbnail and then we just put out a video on our other channel our mountain home of the first episode of re renovating lily's bus so where the kids did most of it yep yep okay bye y'all right. love y'all see y'all next week